What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an Aluma Duty with 73,000 miles on it and a problem that is causing the check engine light to come on, but we are not replacing this mass airflow sensor. I wanna show you guys what we found, how you're gonna replace it, and how to get your duty back on the road. All right, let's go. guys thanks so much for coming back and checking us out again tonight this aluma duty is in for a problem and the customer's complaint is that the check engine light checking it's right here the check engine light is on with this DTC mass or volume airflow a circuit range performance too high that DTC P00 BD is something that the customer has been happening with the check engine light coming on and setting this DTC. There is a technical service bulletin specifically for this DTC and other DTCs and other DTCs for a difference in software programming strategies and they want us to reprogram the PCM. We have updated the PCM to the latest calibration and did a DPF parameter reset per this TSB. We took this for a road test and tried to verify the repair and the check engine light came back on. So upon some other inspections, per the pinpoint test, it wants us to check the air intake, make sure everything's intact, and to check the charge air cooler ducting for any issues that we may or may not have. This was another technician's repair. However, I thought that this would be a great time to document and show you guys before you replace the mass airflow sensor that Napa or O'Reilly's is gonna tell you to replace just because you got a mass airflow sensor code. Why don't you guys come over here and check your cold side charge air cooler duct. This is something that is only gonna be on Aluma duties and not so much with the ones that have the hard plastic duct. So if you guys take your duct and actually squeeze it, you can see the perforation. This customer was actually complaining that this was only happening when he was towing his trailer when the check engine light came on and he was noticing a lack of power. This hole in the glass is allowing all this air and pressure to bleed out from this crack. That is gonna skew the map sensor reading it's gonna skew the mass airflow sensor reading and probably the exhaust back pressure reading because everything is now affected by this giant hole in the glass. We do have a new pipe. We do have a new duct, Ford part number. This is for 17 through 19, Aluma Duty. This is only gonna fit the Aluma Duty. Um, I have not tried putting on trucks that have the plastic one, however, but um, this is going to be something that I want you guys to go out and check your truck, see I've had it actually on the belly side, so a little uh, less noticeable, but uh, if you guys have an Aluma Duty with a rubber hose, go out and check and see if your hose is about to split as well. Let me know in the comment section below if anybody's ever had to replace this. This is a, not too bad of a fix, a little easy to diagnose. Uh, only one part to replace and uh, one tool. Imagine that. Let me know, thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time. See